Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 12 of our video series testing super unleaded petrol for its octane rating. In today's video we're going to be testing a sample of Shell V Power uh, which is 99 octane or at least advertised to be. Uh, this sample I have picked up uh, as you saw on the Boiler House Garage on the road episode 1 uh, from the uh, Peterborough Services, uh, which is in Cambridgeshire. You may have also seen the SO Synergy Supreme uh, Octane test and ethanol test, uh, which showed in that area that the uh, super unleaded is uh, ethanol free and uh, thankfully the correct octane. Uh, this video can also be taken as the uh, six monthly uh, retest that I was doing on Shell V Power and uh, SO Synergy Supreme. Uh, to check that they were both uh, ethanol free. Um, my main concern was that as it was the fuels that I was using the most in the areas I'm in, so I wanted to make sure that the uh, petrol I'm putting in my, my classic cars are uh, ethanol free, and uh, even with my uh, daily driver, which can run on like E5 or E10, I do get a significantly better miles per gallon using an ethanol free petrol, so using uh, the cheaper. Uh, E10 petrols is actually a false economy. So we'll start with uh, an ethanol test uh, to make sure it's ethanol free and from there we can then uh, go to test its octane. So for the benefit of those who are seeing this channel for the first time to test the petrol for ethanol content what I do is I pour 300 millilitres of water uh, through 700 millilitres of the test petrol the water will pass through the petrol to settle at the bottom and because ethanol is uh, hydrophilic it will actually pull at the ethanol which will be uh, attracted to the water. If it's ethanol free of course the line will uh, settle at 300 millilitres because it's 300 millilitres being put into it. If any ethanol has been pulled into the water from the petrol that line or that level rather would raise uh, to whichever uh, points we can determine the percentage of ethanol contained therein. Yeah, we'll just let that line settle for a few minutes. If you check out my previous videos, I've shown some control tests to demonstrate that by using this pour-free method, you don't have to shake the mixture or leave it overnight and things like that. We do get almost instant results, so I'll see you back in five minutes. So if it doesn't quite show on camera, the line has settled on 300 millilitres exactly. So the Shell V Power bought from Peterborough Services in Cambridgeshire is ethanol free. And now we can move on to the Octane test. <coughs> <coughs> So the previous uh, results on the Shell V Power uh, we've seen on the channel before on previous tests uh, show the octane level to read about 101 to 102 RON. I'd imagine because this is ethanol free I expect this one to be no different. Look at that, perfect. Excellent, well that's good news. So we can confirm that not only is Shell V Power uh, ethanol free uh, in that part of the country too, in the east of England, uh, it is also uh, of the octane rating that uh, it's advertised to be. Just to clarify that the octane number readout here it is just a guide to show if you're being sold a, an inferior fuel in certain countries. This te tester is actually Russian 
uh, where it, it seems to be a bit more of a problem where you've got petrol stations trying to pass off inferior quality petrols as, as higher octane than they truly are. But even so, it does still give you a, a good idea. We're seeing consistent results in all of our uh, super and leaded 99 octane fuels are showing to be like 100 to 102 uh, RON on this reader. Uh, when we've got the 97 super and leaded uh, petrols, uh, this was showing 98. So it, it does show consistent results. And of course, the issue we were getting previously with SO Synergy Supreme in my area was actually showing 93 RON, which is uh, below what it should be. However, if you watch the other videos, you'll see that there's been some developments in the SO Synergy Supreme story. So I also wanted to demonstrate as well, might as well do it on this video. Uh, you know, the testing method, uh, I've sort of standardised it to this job. But I'll show you something interesting, which is why we've had... So this is what happens when you divert from the instructions uh, from the Octane tester, and this is why you can't take the well why i'm not basically taking this uh, read out as a gospel accurate octane number like i say it is just to uh, give us an idea uh, and we need to show consistency this is set up exactly the same way this is exactly the uh, shell v power fuel that i've just tested and it read 102 now it's reading 105 because the reader is uh, basically completely submerged in the petrol it doesn't mean that the petrol's octane has increased because there's more of it it just means that the reader isn't in its best position to be uh, testing the fuel if i lift it up here look so it's 73 well it's not 73 octane because it's uh, because it's uh, th there's less in that tube the petrol is always the same octane it's just it's uh, just the reader has to be in a uh, particular container or partic particular position uh, to uh, give a consistent reading which is why we use this jar with the same amount of fuel in it to give each fuel a fair chance so please consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll be testing another sample of SO Synergy Supreme now that there's been some changes to the situation with it that we've been highlighting on this channel and I'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching.